you're my sort of age, you probably remember Wonder Woman, uh, Linda Carter and her invisible jet. And I got to thinking, I'd quite like to make an invisible jet in Meccano. So, how am I going to do that? Well, Meccano gave me a bit of an idea. In the, in the vintage sets, they used to produce these transparent plates, which were mainly used for windscreens and the like. Not really solid enough to use for building actual models out of. They're too flip thin and uh, flexible for that, and they break too easily. But it did give me an idea. I'm a member of the Phoenix Men's Shed. Um, it's a shared workshop in Halifax, and it happens to have this. A laser cutter. That opens up lots of opportunities. So first of all, I need to do some CAD work on the computer. Replicating the design of Meccano pieces. That's made somewhat easier by the fact that you can get the engineering drawings for Meccano from the internet. And that's what I've worked from here. So take that file, apply it to the laser cutter and some 2mm thick acrylic and this is what happens. And that's how I created these, my own handmade invisible Meccano pieces. Now, just for the time being, I've made a set to make Wonder Woman's plane, and I'll show you that eventually. But on a, a wider note, I'm seeing these as having possibilities for being viewing uh, pieces into bits of Meccano machinery that you might make. And, and here's just a, a quick sample of how I see that potentially working. The model's going to be based on this, the Meccano monoplane, which I've, I've made up here in traditional Meccano so you can see what it looks like. I am going to have to make a, a few slight changes to it along the way just to fit in with the Meccano pieces that I've made, but it basically is going to be similar to that. <laughs> 